Okay, so I'm gonna tell you why I love Edge and hopefully try to convince you why you should like it too. So let's pop on over, y'all. All right, everyone. So we're gonna be getting into the fun stuff. So this video, we're gonna be focusing on why I love using Microsoft Edge for my business. So the first thing that I love is that ability to have multiple profiles. So right now I am actually in my personal profile. And if I click on the picture on the top right, I'm gonna actually go down here. As you can see, I have multiple profiles, but I'm gonna to go to my training profile so my training profile, I can tell because it has a picture of the light bulb. And then this profile is my profile for my actual business. So I can easily switch between my profiles with just a click and I absolutely love that function. Now that I'm on the profile that I want to focus on, there's a couple things that you can customize here. The first, if you click on the settings icon on the top right, there are four different views that you can have. I have mine custom, but let's look at the focused layout. So this one is very much for those that like to have a minimalist view that if you're someone who gets easily distracted, then this is a good option for you. The next one is inspirational. If you want to see the picture of the day or just kind of have all of your feed and information in one spot, this is a great one informational has even more content i've chosen custom for me i have selected my own image i just created mine on canva and then uploaded it to my profile now i just select headings only and then this is what it looks like for me for those of you that want to add a quick link it's very simple all you have to do is click on the plus symbol and then you can type in the name that you want to see. Let's just say that you want it to go to Facebook and then you would just type in the URL. And there you go, super simple. Now let's deep dive a little bit more into my Microsoft 365 tools. So you can do a couple things, you can either select down here on the bottom left and see all of your Microsoft tools, or you can go over here to the app launcher on the top left and see all of your apps. So now I can see all of my apps or I can specifically go to an individual app. So I love this because I have easy access to all of my Microsoft tools in one spot. Another new feature that I really like is the ability to change my tabs so that they are vertical instead of horizontal. To do that, I'm going to click on the top left and then I'm going to select turn on vertical tabs. And as you can see, all of the tabs that I had open horizontally across the top are now over here on the left toolbar. And I absolutely love this. The other thing that I really like is let's just say that there is a website that is a tab that you really want to get easy access to. So you can right click on your tab and you have a ton of different options, but one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin my tab. So now whenever I open up a browser, I'm gonna be able to get to that website with one click. So let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm back here on my personal profile. I'm going to go to the top right and I'm gonna choose my training profile. And then if you notice right here on the top left, this is the website that we pinned. This is a great way not to have a very cluttered taskbar, super easy just to pin them and have them right here. While we're talking about tabs, let me show you another really cool feature. So on here, I'm going to create a new tab and let's just say that, I don't know, this is Instagram. Okay, so let's just say that I have a couple of personal tabs out here. So I'm gonna do one more and let's do Facebook. Okay, now let's just say that I wanted to group these tabs together. So there's a really easy way for you to do that. So all you have to do is right click and then if you scroll down here, I'm gonna select add tab to a new group. Let's make it purple and I'm gonna say social media. 
And now I'm going to right click on the Instagram and then I'm going to add tab to the social media group. So now, oh, I typed it wrong. <laughs> but now as you can see, I can click on here and I can get to this tab or I can click on my social media and select my Instagram and I can easily get to it, but it's grouped together so that it's not taking up a huge amount of my space. So the next thing that I wanna show you is Microsoft Edge Collections. I'm telling you this will save you a ton of time. For those of you that are always doing research, this is an amazing tool for you to tap into. Click right here where this plus symbol is, or you can do Control Shift Y. I'm going to select it and then I'm gonna actually pin it just cause I like it to sit here on the right for me. Okay, now that I have pinned my collections, let's create a new one. So let's just say that I am researching time boxing. So I'm gonna say time boxing ideas. And then from here, I'm going to actually add current page. So it's gonna move the link of the page that I'm currently on and move it over here to this time boxing idea. So let's just say I keep researching. Here's another article that I found on LinkedIn. I can say add current page. Let's just say there's another one at ink.com and I wanna add this page. So there is a really easy way for you to gather all of this information. And let's just say that I also wanna add myself a note. So maybe I click on this icon right here at the top and then I'm gonna add a little sticky note that says, I love emojis. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a calendar emoji, emoji. And then I'm gonna say strategic planning for 2022. And then maybe I just wanna throw in some ideas that I've had as I've been researching. Alrighty, and so maybe these are just some notes or some thoughts that I've had as I've been doing my research today. I can even move this to the very top if I wanted to. So it's a really great way for you to very easily gather all of your research and information and then have it in a very easy one-stop shop. So I'm actually gonna get out of all of these. I'm just gonna close out my browser. And then if I open up my collections right here, as you can see, my time boxing ideas is right here. It's ready for me to um, pick up where I left off or I can start creating a new one. So this is a really easy way for you not to lose the research that you're doing on a daily basis. Okay, everyone, I hope that I have convinced you to love Microsoft Edge when you're using it just as much as I do. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. If you're looking for more Microsoft content, check some more videos out below. Bye, y'all.